what up guys since the last video you saw i had hives like all over my face and my body but i have not found out what the cause of it was day by day since i healed from the hives i've slowly been trying to reintroduce the things back into my diet that i thought could potentially be the cause of the hives basically everything i tried so far i didn't have any problems and the hives did not come back but today is the pecan pie day this was like the biggest thing that i think it could be and i'm about to try this again the reason I'm doing this is one because I want to know why I had hives I don't want to just go on with life and not know why the hell this happened to me I need to know and I can't go to an allergist right now anyway because everything's shut down so I'm trying to like do the process of elimination myself safely hopefully safely I might just break out in hives in a couple minutes you, you might see in the next clip I'm all blown up I'll let you guys know what happens <laughs> God, this is so good. I really hope I'm not allergic to that. Hi, bamboo. <laughs> I think I was reading in the comments, isn't there some kind of medicine that you could take if you are allergic to certain foods and then it allows you to eat it anyway? And also, thank you guys so much for all your comments and support in the last video. That was probably like the first video in a really long time that I didn't answer comments. That was just because I needed to <laughs> relax after I uploaded the video. Thank you, I did read them. <laughs> now it's basically just a waiting game to see if anything happens. I'm going to do my Spanish lesson right now and then I'm gonna read a little bit. Hi Nyla, you always come visit me in the videos. Hi. Um, and I'll go to bed, so if anything happens before bed, I'll let you know. If not, you'll probably see my swollen face <laughs> in bed. Interestingly enough, I woke up and I had no reaction, no hives, so I guess I'm not allergic to pecans, and I'm so thankful for that. Anyway, we're back to the drawing board and I have to figure out why I had the hives. I don't know when I'm gonna figure it out, but I definitely will let you guys know when I do. There might be another video one day soon where I have hives all over me. <laughs> I decided to come out for a walk and run. It's freezing outside. It feels like it's winter time. Aww. They're probably gonna get so mad at me. I was afraid they were gonna attack me because that did happen to me once before. I really love this trail so much. It's like I'm looking at a beautiful landscape that was painted, but it's real life. I don't come here that often because it's really far. Well, it's not that far, but it's very peaceful every time I come. So I've been coming a lot more since the quarantine. Today, it's like so freezing. There's hardly anybody out here. But I walked really far because I wanted to show you guys this spot. There's these stairs that go up. It's not like a special thing, but I thought it was really intriguing the other day because I'd never noticed it since this is on like a pretty big busy street. And since it's quarantine, there's not that many cars going by. It just takes you up to another road, but there's a really beautiful, view when you go up the stairs. I really liked it. That's something I love doing is getting lost in a way. I love exploring even by myself and just thinking, ah! thinking about stuff. Here it is. This is my new spot that I like. And I was wondering, is anybody up here? It has a tiny bit of a creepy vibe, <laughs> but I still like it. Oh, that's right. I follow the heart app on my phone. Do any of you guys use that? I look at it to see how many steps I do and miles I walk or run and how many flights of stairs. So I was wondering why I had so many stairs and this is why. Here's the view. Isn't it so pretty? It gets better though. I probably sound so muffled through this darn mask. It's hard to breathe, <sighs> but it makes my workouts harder. So that's a good thing. This is all it is really on the other side. Nothing too exciting. What is up with this weather? Everybody talks about global warming. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Not on the East Coast. She's back. <laughs> I am done my walk. I just felt very inspired, just thinking and thinking and thinking. I've been really wanting to, I don't even know like where I want to start with this, but like kind of put out there for you guys in some way, some platform, I don't even know where yet. Tell a story that would be very interesting. I began Nyla sitting on my story right now. I don't know where this is gonna ever live and I know that it's gonna take me a really long time to like finish, but I started and I don't know if it'll ever make it out there at all but it's a story to tell i'm not sure how detailed it's gonna ever be yet because i'm not finished but i know you guys would totally totally love it and it's been on my mind for years now stuff that i've been wanting to talk about and like i never did i don't know why i'm even telling you guys because i wasn't really ready to this is what it is i'm sitting here i didn't eat my jelly beans yet i'm gonna eat some jelly beans <laughs> because I love candy. Actually, how about this? Can you write in the comments, if I were to tell any type of story to you guys, or like any type of insight, what would you want it to be about? 
what do you think this is about too? Maybe you guys can give me some thoughts and like ideas and I can expand on it and what I'm doing and then maybe what you want would be in there. Obviously this is not something that's gonna be released anytime soon. I also was thinking that I'm so thankful for you guys that you have stuck with me for so long. You've been there watching the videos for so long and like I appreciate you guys so much, I really do. It means a lot to me. My life wouldn't be what it is without you guys, so thank you. <laughs> I've been doing so much thinking about life in general and how, isn't it so crazy the journey that it takes you on, the roads you go on along the way? It's all so unexpected. You just literally never know where you're gonna end up. Even when you think you do, you, you don't know. Things don't always happen the way that you imagine them to happen. Things that you want don't always happen, but I think there's reasons for that. And you'll find out at some point later in the future. I have lots of unknowns still. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna go after this coronavirus. My plan was to go to New York and now it's like a massive danger zone. So I might not end up there anymore. Next thought is maybe temporarily California until it cools down. Then make my way to New York. It's exciting to think about the journey that you're going on because you don't know about it. Imagine if you knew every single thing in your life. If you're a planner and you like to know everything, it's good. But like, if you knew every single thing, <laughs> There would be nothing really to look forward to. It is exciting and it's exciting if you allow it to be. Do more of what excites you. I love this hoodie, by the way. I, I wear it all the time. Even though it's like my merch hoodie, I'm not trying to promote it right now, but if you want it, yeah, you can get it. It means a lot to me and it's so comfortable. Oh, speaking of that, I might as well mention the merch feature. Here's the merch feature. Thank you. I guess I'm just gonna end the vlog right now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.